Greetings, this is another Sprocket video where I would like to show you some of my older designs and their visual improvements. Our first design would be a medium tank and a rather old one at that which got featured over a year ago in a video of mine. And this would be the AGS 104.11.1. This thing did not age well at all. Like the turret. I have no idea what I was smoking when designing it. It's almost as ugly as my face. Almost. And the hull is... Uh, Alright, it's decent, but uh, it did not age well. Like, uh, it did need uh, some visual improvements. Just like the leaf spring suspension. This was one of my first uh, tanks which uh, had a leaf spring suspension. And uh, it's uh, saved on a turret so I can just place it on whatever tank I choose to place it on so uh, yeah it's, it's just a decorative uh, thing. Now that we have uh, taken a look at this uh, atrocity let's uh, see the improved version. Before you are commenting yes I know this uh, camo is ugly so people mainly on discord complained about the puke green I used for my tanks previously so I did what every reasonable man would do I improvised, I adapted and I overcame the problem by making something that uh, makes people look away rather than to complain but, but uh, just for this video I'm going to use this uh, paint uh, instead so uh, yeah so this would be the improved version of the AGS 104.11.1. As you can see, the leaf springs did receive some love, and the hull is generally the same shape, but a bit better looking in my opinion. And the turret was based on this very ancient light tank prototype of mine. It doesn't even have a name, by the way. So uh, yeah, this was the turret that uh, basically I recycled, so to say. So uh, yeah, this thing has uh, quite a decent armor profile, mainly because uh, it uh, it moved down an era into early war, and early war uh, guns are not that powerful. So uh, yeah, that's basically why its armor is decent. It weighs 33 tons and its top speed is around 35 km per hour. It's not that great, but uh, I mean it's uh, more than nothing for sure. Its 75mm gun is uh, pretty damn good. It's basically the whole selling point of this uh, design. Like the armor, okay, it holds up, the mobility is fine I guess but it's not uh, special especially for a medium tank but the gun it's a uh, pretty damn good and like uh, this design overall is uh, decent but I would like to show you something which uh, would uh, look something along the lines of uh, this this is the HGS uh, 104.11.2 the not just a visually improved version but an improved improved version basically it has a thicker hull armor and a different uh, turret also some skirts but uh, that, that's uh, quite obvious so this turret has a 90 mm gun just like the ancient uh, over a year old version and a secondary uh, heavy machine gun and you might have probably uh, seen it, but uh, even the previous uh, version with that uh, weird turret, well, neither of these turrets have uh, uh, really any gun mantlets. I mean, they are kind of internal gun mantlets, but whatever. So, both of these uh, versions <coughs> have uh, have turret fronts with uh, a missing. Uh, part where the gun sits basically so this is the first time where I uh, did this and it does work rather well visually 
so yeah also let me know what you think about this turret i think it looks uh, rather unique there's some it it you know what it actually reminds me of the yeah, of the uh, what's it called the amx uh, cdc that that french uh, tank destroyer thing but whatever let's uh, go and uh, see the next uh, subject our uh, next uh, subject would be a heavy tank which uh, i'm not even sure i featured on this channel and this would be the hgs 105 10 one and it's just pure pure uh, eye bleeding uh, ugliness it's, it's just uh, rather unpleasant to look at so uh, yeah before uh, we get uh, eye cancer even though we already got it <laughs> just by looking at that uh, ugly ass camo i showed earlier let's just uh, move on and let's see the improved uh, version it would look uh, something like this <laughs> where do i even begin so this thing is uh, 83 tons heavy it does have a lot of armor as you can see it's uh, very thick the turret is uh, very well protected even from the sides uh, the hull is uh, rather uh, well armored as well even the sides when angled are uh, very good and uh, as, as i said earlier even the side of the turret is uh, well armored so uh, yeah like its uh, original version it has a 130 millimeters gun but uh, this one it has like a 300 millimeters of penetration which uh, is uh, really damn good now the speed isn't that great it's uh, it's 35 kilometers per hour uh, at best uh, forwards at least but it does accelerate rather quickly and it also has neutral steering so uh, yeah also it has a funny feature which i uh, uh, stole from the merkava tanks it has a back door uh, yeah, uh, do whatever you want to do with that uh, information. Also, as uh, someone has pointed it out to me, the turret uh, resembles the the turret uh, which the the object one twenty has, or the SU one hundred and fifty two Taran, which uh, whichever name you prefer, whatever. So yes, that. Uh, that turret does resemble this ones which was completely unintentional it was just coincidental so uh, yeah but overall i am uh, very happy with this uh, updated design so yeah let me know what you think in the comments our next uh, subject would be one of my personal favorite designs and this would be the Cerberus heavy tank and just uh, let's just uh, go and see the improved version as you can see this is probably the most faithful to its original design uh, so far in this uh, series of mine so uh, yeah it really did not change uh, that much like the hull is longer a bit taller as well the mini turrets are not so many anymore but overall this design is indeed just 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 simply an improvement on the on the on its predecessor so the armor profile is quite uh, good actually it has only a few weak points even from the sides it's uh, quite nice the engine deck is of course uh, weakly armored but if you let uh, your enemies hit it you have already fucked up so whatever and like i am really happy with how this uh, thing turned out to be because uh, i mean i didn't really have to change a lot in the original design because uh, 
it was just that good, it just uh, aged. So I just uh, made it uh, a bit better. And like, uh, it's also special for two reasons. One being the custom exhaust pipes. I specifically made these uh, for this tank and I ended up using them for another one as well. And uh, it has custom vents. <clears throat> so this is my fifth uh, tank which uh, has uh, custom vents. But uh, whatever, it's still a new thing I uh, did. Like in the last month or so. This is so new. So, uh, yeah. These uh, not so many turrets uh, have a limited uh, rotation. Which uh, sometimes is kind of inconvenient, but uh, when you are uh, facing your enemy and you are unleashing your wrath with uh, all three of your guns, then it doesn't really matter, to be quite honest. It's uh, 75 tons heavy. Uh, so the mobility isn't great, its top speed is like 30 km per hour, but it does have neutral steering, which, uh, I mean, it's something, I guess. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much it for this vehicle. It's a large uh, heavy tank with three turrets. That's precisely why I named it uh, the Cerberus heavy tank. So uh, yeah. I think that's it, so this would be the end of the video, if you liked it hit the dislike button, if not hit the dislike button, if you want to you can unsubscribe, bye.